Hi everybody, this is Leonard. Uh, the other day I did a video taking the transmission out of the case and something happened. Don't know what, but never did get the video to come and so I could duplicate it and get it on uh, YouTube. So I'll just do a little catch up here. Uh, these four bolts that you see right here, this one, this one, and this one, and this one are inside the case where the ring and pinion goes. When you get the differential out of there, you unbolt these. their safety safety tabs on them. These little these little things right here with the little locks on them. And uh, you bend these tabs back and take those four bolts off. And you heat up the the uh, the transmission case area around this bearing here. And you get a, a brass hammer and you line it up in this hole here if you can get a round point in there and start tapping on it after you've warmed it up quite a bit. You you know when it's hot when it starts to smoke a little bit. Not discolored, but when you can see a little bit of the oil burning off, you got it hot enough and if and you undo the cover, all the bolts that hold this cover on, of course, and take take these bolts off and then you tap on that and it'll push that transmission out in its entire absolutely complete so the only thing that's going to fall off is the reverse gear sector so that'll 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 when you pull it out this thing will half of it will will be on the ground so watch it uh, it's no big deal to put back in but that's they, they come off really easy because there's the way they're put in there they don't go anywhere so um, Anyhow, this transmission is in mint condition. I don't think it went very far. There's a couple little nicks. There's a little little nick right here. I think when this uh, uh, the differential housing cut loose, this, they shattered a, uh, a spacer in there to hold these uh, uh, these spider gears in. So, what happens if I, I, I got my camera set on high? But this. This gear has got a hairline crack from here all the way down to here where that axle shoved it in and tried the uh, uh, the ring and pinion tried to push out the side of the case. So that's what happens when you jump these things and tire comes back on the ground and gets grip and, and the axle jams itself into this hole here and all hell breaks loose and that's what happened. All hell broke loose and seized it up, locked it up, tired of bugging a rug. These are the spider gears that are inside the uh, the differential housing, there's a differential housing. The spider gears here um, I took out and there's only two in the Volkswagen differential. I bought a, a beef a diff. I'm glad I did because the housing's cracked on this one anyhow. So I'm going to have to buy two more of these gears and I've decided I'm going to put German gears in, not Chinese gears because I'm afraid of the, the, the metal heat treat is probably not right on them. Anyhow, I, I got to save one uh, uh, paddle carrier. I call it a paddle carrier because the paddle actually goes inside this thing. These two spider gears are good. The shaft is salvageable. And I got to find another set of gears to go this way because the beef diff has got four spider gears instead of two. So it takes a lot of the stress off the transmission. I'm going to have to get one of these rascals here. I'm going to have to scout around. Maybe Gino out back east might have one for me, one or two. I actually need one. I think I can salvage the other one. So this one's good. And I needed two extra spider gears. I'd rather put four used spider gears on than two than the Chinese ones. So I'm going to scout around and see if I can find some. And I'm happy with the transmission because, man, I don't think it ever, I don't think it's ever gone anywhere. Though. If you look real closely, here's the, here's the synchros right here. And the and the teeth on these on these synchros is and they're in mint condition. So I haven't got it apart yet, but I predict that the synchros in this transmission are in excellent shape. Um, I just don't see anywhere in this transmission at all except first gear, which is normal. You'll get a little roughness on there because when you take off, all the pressure's on that little tiny gear. So that's that takes that takes a beating. This is first gear, second gear, third gear, and fourth gear in the backside here. And that's about it. This housing's also got a crack in it, so when it busted, it, it, it did a good job of tearing this thing up, too. So, that's what I'm working with. Uh, 
I marked when I when I took the bearings off of here there's some space there's some spacer rings in there and what I did is I marked I think one side was 130 millimeter thick and the other one was 158 millimeters thick so you want to make sure you put the when you take this thing apart there's shims in there make sure you take that the shims and you put them back in the same place that you started on your new piece and then you'll have a good starting point it's, but this is how you adjust the, the housing back and forth by how thick the shims are and that sets it close to the to the pinion gear makes the ring gear come in close to the pinion gear so if you look at the back side of that pin gear gear and the front side of the gear uh, it's seated in there nice this, this was this uh, particular transmission was installed right I don't think it's ever been a part these are still the original gaskets on it and, and uh, this thing's I doubt very much it's ever been a part but that's what happens when I sit around since 19 in the 60s 70s 80s 92 that's 40 40 years this thing's been in somebody's backyard broken so uh, it broke early in its life and probably hasn't seen many miles so looks like a transmission's good but the the diff is shot I'm, I replaced the diff anyhow so I'm not too worried about it but this will make a good gauge fixture so you can actually take this piece here and uh, make a gauge out of it to ring the to, to to figure out how deep this thing right here on the pinion pinion shaft sits into the transmission so we're going to use this I'll cut this up and I'll sell it for probably 40 50 bucks on uh, on the Samba for somebody who need, who wants to do a, a, a transmission restoration like this Okay, that's it for now. Ciao.